Hi and welcome to a video on stem and leaf plots. Here's what you'll learn. How to interpret data in stem and leaf plots and how to make stem and leaf plots. First of all, what is a stem and leaf plot? Well, a stem and leaf plot is a graph used to organize and display data so that the frequencies, how often something happens, can be compared. Stem and leaf plots are made using t-charts like the one shown on your screen. The first column contains the stems, while the second column contains the leaves. Here's an important note. Only the right-hand digit of each number appears as a leaf. So the number 48 would break down into a stem of 4 and a leaf of 8. You always chop off the rightmost digit. So in a stem and leaf plot, 48 would be 4, vertical bar 8. The number 429 would break down into a stem of 42 and a leaf of 9. So in a stem and leaf plot, 429 would be written as 42, vertical bar 9. In cases of money, just ignore the decimal and follow the exact same rules. A dollar thirty-six would break down into a stem of thirteen and a leaf of six. So in a stem and leaf plot, a dollar thirty-six would be thirteen vertical bar six. The key in the plot would tell the reader to place the decimal back in the number by explaining that thirteen vertical bar six really means a dollar thirty-six. When making stem and leaf plots, as with all charts and graphs, make sure you label the information so people understand what you're trying to communicate. And don't forget to include a key if necessary. Now let's interpret a stem and leaf plot. This stem and leaf plot shows the weights of dogs recorded by a veterinarian last Monday. Let's read the plot and answer a few questions. But first, let's take a look at the stem and leaf plot so we can understand what we're seeing here. The key tells us how to read the data. Eight Vertical bar 2 means 82 pounds, so now we know that all the numbers in the table are pounds. Data in stem and leaf plots is always displayed from least to greatest as you read down the plot. So the lightest dog weighed 12 pounds, while the heaviest dog weighed 103 pounds. Looking at the 5 stem, you see 3 numbers in the leaves, 4, 4, and 9. This indicates that the vet weighed three dogs whose weights were 54 pounds, 54 pounds, and 59 pounds. Now we have enough information about the table to start answering questions. What is the range of the data? Well, you do remember how to find a range, right? The range is the largest number, 103, minus the smallest number, 12. So the range is 91 pounds. What is the mode of the data? The mode is the number that occurs most often. A quick look at the data shows that only one number occurs more than once, and that's 54. So the mode is indeed 54. Now let's make our own stem and leaf plot. The data below shows the number of years coached by the top 15 coaches in all-time NFL coaching victories. Let's make a stem and leaf plot of the data. First, as, long, as with all long sets of data, put the numbers in order from least to greatest cross off the numbers as you use them. So let's take a look at the data. What's our smallest number up here? It looks to be 12. So I'm going to write down 12 and cross it off from my original list. And I'm going to keep doing this all the way along. The next number is 15. There's another 15. Looks like we have a 17 next, followed by a second 17. There's an 18. And that does it for the teens. Jump up to a 20. 21. Looks like we have a 22. A couple of 23s. A 29, that's it for the 20s. Now in the 30s, there are two 33s that we're going to cross off our list. And finally, a 40. With the data in order, it's a simple matter to create our plot. We make our t-chart. Don't forget to add our column headings. Stems on one side, leaves on the other. Chop off the right, rightmost digits to create the stems and the leaves add the data to the, to the table from the top down. So let's take a look at number 12. We're going to slice it right down the middle between the 1 and the 2. Put the 1 in the stem and the 2 in the leaf. Now the next number is 15. We already have the stem of 1 in there, so when we split it up, all we have to do is put the 5 in the leaves. Same thing with the next 15. We already have the stem of 1, so another 5 goes in the leaves. 
17, split it right down between the 1 and the 7. Add a 7 to the leaves. Same thing with the next 17. We already have the stem of 1, put another 7 in the leaves. And finally, for our stems of 1, this is the last number, one more 8 in the leaves. Now we've got to create a new stem because we've got the number 20. We split it down between the 2 and the 0. 2 is our new stem, 0 goes in the leaf beside it. Break 21 down into 2 and 1. We add a new 1 in the leaves. Break 22 down into 2 and 2 and put a new 2 in the leaf. Break 23 down, 3 in the leaf. We have a second 23, so we write a second 3 in the leaves for 2's. And we have a 29, our last 20, our last stem of 2, and we put another 9 in the leaf. Then we jump down, we have to create a new stem because we're in the 30's now. A 3 in the stem and a 3 in the leaf. Next number is 33. We still have our stem of 3, so we just need to add another 3 to the leaves. And then we're going to jump down and create one last stem row for 40. A 4 in the stem and a 0 in the leaf. Now, don't forget to add a key so people know what you're reading here. 2 vertical bar 1 means 21 years of NFL coaching. And don't forget to add a title. Years coaching by coaches with the most victories. And we're done. There's your first stem and leaf plot. Now, I want to do one more because money seems to cause a lot of trouble for people. We're going to do one with some dollars and cents in it. The data below shows the average cost of gas from 2001 to 2006. Make a stem and leaf plot of the data. Well, first, let's add our column headings, stems and leaves. The data is already in order from least to greatest for us, so we don't need to do that. Now we can just go ahead and break up the numbers into the stems and leaves and add them to our plot. We're going to take $1.38 and break it up between the 3 and the 8. That means the 13 becomes a stem and the 8 becomes our leaf. The next number, $1.49, we break it between the 4 and the 9. We need a new stem of 14 and the leaf is 9. $1.62, break between the 6 and the 2. We need a new stem of 16. The leaf is 2. $1.63, we already have a stem of 16, so we're just going to add another 3 to that row. $1.97, break between the 9 and the 7. A new stem of 19, a leaf of 7. And finally, $2.16 breaks between the 1 and the 6. We have a 21 stem and a 6 in the leaf. Don't forget to add a key. This is really critical for the money problems because people would not know how to read these numbers without a key. 16 vertical bar 2 means $1.62 per gallon. And don't forget to add a title, the average cost of gas from 2001 through 2006. And that's it. We're done. You've made two stem and leaf plots. Congratulations. You just learned how to interpret data in stem and leaf plots and how to make stem and leaf plots.